Welcome to Next Level Rugby, home of the Connecticut Cup. My name is Ryan Ginty, and I'm a coach, referee, and when I'm not broken, a Harvard Wanderer. Here at Next Level Rugby, we will expose you to some of the best rugby in the country. Coming to you out of Hartford and keeping you up to date with the best of our sport across all of New England and beyond. We will highlight the most exciting game on two feet and look to showcase our sport in a way it needs to be done. By ruggers, for ruggers. So sit back and relax and enjoy some rugby because we're taking it to the next level. And now every day is a rugby day. You know, Connecticut has a tremendous amount of rugby talent and a lot to offer the rest of the United States. And uh, bringing that to the forefront right now and really getting an exposure is, uh, is, is really going to take this all to the next level. I think the Connecticut Cup is awesome because it's structured in such a different way than I've ever played rugby before. It's usually like, you know, you have a season, you go play some games here and there, but like this time one team hosts it. It's like tournament style every week. I just think it's completely revolutionizing the game for us. Connecticut Cup is a great opportunity for teams like ourselves to play other private schools or public schools that we don't play normally. It Plus, how do you pass up the chance to play for the best team in the state? I, I'm so excited for the Connecticut Cup. Like, it is going to be the best. Like, I can't wait to play huge schools, D1 schools, can't play to play UConn, can't play, wait to play Southern, specifically can't wait to play Central. And I'm really excited that there's going to be able to spring rugby to be able to play. Just the whole way it's set up, you know, we can, I can see all the other teams play, I can, you know, study them, realize that, you know, their inside cuts in more so I can be ready to, you know, be there or just anything, just so I'm, I'm ready for what they got. I think the Connecticut Cup is a really great idea to bring all these teams together and that I really always wanted to play. That I get to play, like, people that I'm friends with from other teams and it's funny to get on the field in that with them. Like, they're your boys off the field, but, like, if they come at me, I'm going to put them on their fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, I definitely think that we're, uh, we're definitely like caged animals. Um, boys out west, they have luxuries that we don't. It's, uh, it's a shame, but uh, it makes you appreciate a lot of things much more. It's like, uh, I, sometimes I like to think about, but like, it's like being in jail. You know, who are you more scared of? The guy that, that walks around free every day and, and gets to... Frolic in the flowers, the guy that just spent four years in the pen. Uh, what American rugby means to me is I get to play in the best country on earth. American rugby in the upcoming years has a lot of importance for our country. It's a, it's a very proud thing to be an American rugger. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always one to root for the underdog, and we are the underdog. It's not, it's a growing program right now, and it starts at this level of competition. It's on the rise right now. I think it's, it's going to be a really big growing sport with the Olympics coming up. I mean, growing up in Europe, I always knew rugby is a bit more, uh, it was a bit more common, and I definitely knew about the sport a bit more in here. But people here kind of focus on football a bit more, but rugby is really cool, and it's good to see that it's growing here in America. As, a, as an immigrant, what it means for me to play American rugby is basically everything in the world. I love the game, I love it more than anything, and I would not trade for anything in the world. We have, we have a way about us, we have a grittiness, we have a dirtiness, not in a bad way. Um, we are aggressive, we are hard, and we are tough. You need to believe you are the best, you're going to win, you're going to run faster than everybody, you're going to hit harder than anybody, and you're going to destroy anybody who comes through your path, and that you're going to be the baddest motherfucker on that field, and you're going to wreck anybody who comes your way. The mindset that you need to, to be successful uh, when it comes down to game time, in my opinion, uh, is that... You're, you're, not a, you're not a part of a team. You're not a part of this uh, random assortment of guys. You're a part of a brotherhood. These are your family members. And if you don't give everything that you have for the guy next to you and he doesn't do the same for you, you're, you're not going to fare well. You need to have a really, really ironclad work ethic. You need to know how to work hard. Well, the physical aspect of rugby is really demanding. It takes everything you have. If there's no other sport in the world that 
takes the physicality that you need for rugby because you need to be strong enough to tackle people. Uh, you need the endurance to be able to play 80 minutes. Rugby is a very demanding sport. I mean, you're going out there for 80 minutes, and it's just, it's a lot of hard work. So you, you really have to be a prime athlete to play the sport. It's for real men and real women. You got to not care about putting your body on the line. It's, um, it's definitely something where you need to uh, abandon your well-being for the well-being of the team. Just balls to the walls, like, you can't hesitate, because the second you hesitate, you're getting knocked on your ass. Shoulder this guy, he's running real fast, you just gotta go. The moment that happens, you get hurt. Exactly. You gotta go. There's one gear, and uh, you just gotta be ready for battle at all points of the game. That's bullshit. That's straight up bullshit. It's, it is bullshit that you are too small to play rugby because rugby is 100% form and 200% mentality because you need to go out there and as long as you believe you can tackle somebody, it doesn't matter if they're 350 pounds or 100 pounds. It's, someone's going to get tackled if the person wants to and they have the right form for it all. The heads have to be the best part about playing rugby. The best part about playing rugby is being able to have contact. It's how you're out there for 80 minutes kicking each other's ass and then at the end of the game, it's just you have the utmost respect for each other. We have everyone has a chance. Any given day, you can win. You know, someone you know on UConn could be dogging it and just not, you know, not feeling well. And we can just capitalize. I think it's game flow. I just love the way rugby flows. It's like no other sport. Like you tackle someone, you get tackled, you get right back on, and you keep playing. I think that's the best part. Everybody's just willing to do whatever's best for the team. If I need somebody to play hooker, they're ready to jump in. If I need somebody to, you know, sit out for a couple minutes for the rest of the game, they're good to do it. So just the fact that everybody's willing for the, to just improve the team. If you asked me that question when I was younger, I'd probably say either smash somebody or score a try. But uh, at this point, I would probably say pass for the win because the more you learn about rugby, you realize it's not just about scoring the try and making the big hit. It's about the series of play before that. And uh, there's just as much pride, if not more, being the guy to pass it off for the win? Uh, Sunday's, Sunday's going to be a really good day um, for a number of different reasons. One, uh, because we're, we're really well involved with our local men's clubs and, and everybody else is too. Um, so those local men's clubs, we're going to be able to go down on Saturdays and see their games and then they're all going to be able to come down on Sundays and see our games. Um, other than that, I think it's going to be a great recruiting tool for us and for the, uh, the younger kids. Uh, younger kids in high school, younger than that, to come down and watch the Connecticut Cup and uh, really see the, the caliber of rugby that we have in Connecticut that, that's otherwise been kind of hidden away. Well, many, like I've learned just so many small tricks just through watching like professionals play. Like there's one thing that me and, me and Harry, we just interviewed here, uh, like to do is you just grab one of the other guy's waist and you basically just, you have the mass of like 400 pounds running into one guy and you can just annihilate him. And I, I learned that watching you no know, pros do it because I didn't know that was even illegal. And there's just there's so many rock and ride exactly. Just so many more elements that I didn't even know that were part of the game. And then when you uh, I mean, I can pretty much watch whenever I want, but not on TV. I pretty much got to rely on the internet. We want the best, and I think we can bring it. When I started playing rugby for the Hooligans at Central Connecticut State University, all we had was a hand-me-down, worn-out VHS copy of what was at the time Super 12 rugby. We had two games that on any given Friday would be playing nonstop on our sweet 1999 video cassette player to get us amped for the next day's match. There was no YouTube in 2004. Now, at any given moment, you can go on YouTube and have access to all the professional games from around the world. American rugby is missing a big piece to growing our game and creating new rugby fans and its exposure to the sport at all levels, whether it be national, regional, men's and women's, and collegiate rugby programs. We have great rugby all over the United States, and we need a platform for it to be seen. And that is exactly what Next Level Rugby is going to do. We will provide that platform to drive the growth of our beloved game, starting with the Connecticut Cup. Six of Connecticut's best teams, all vying for bragging rights, and the coveted title of Connecticut's best college men's program. For six weeks, Central Connecticut State University, UConn, Wesleyan, Southern Connecticut State University, the University of Hartford, and Quinnipiac New Blue We'll travel to the same location and we'll all play back to back to back. So sit back, enjoy the rugby, because now 
Every day is a rugby day.